It's not very often I say this about an episode of The Simpsons, but I really did not care for Gone Maggie Gone. And usually with this point in The Simpsons for the last few seasons, I've generally agreed with the overall ratings on IMDb, but this one has 7.2 out of 10, which for season 20 is a pretty good rating. So it seems like not everybody agrees with me, which is fine. I just didn't care for it. This is the 13th episode of the 20th season directed by Chris Clements and Mike B. Anderson. And it starts off with Marge looking at the eclipse and she has to wear bandages on her eyes for two weeks for the entirety of the episode. And Homer does something that means he accidentally leaves Maggie, well, in, in, intentionally leaves Maggie outside a convent. And as soon as his back is turned, this nun takes Maggie inside. Uh, and it's actually a Catholic orphanage. And Lisa has to try and get Maggie back by solving these clues. And honestly, there were two bits that I liked. One, because it featured a song I liked, and one, because actually I thought it was quite clever. But the actual narrative itself I thought was really boring. It was just not interesting at all. And I need to point out that that's not because it's religious. I am religious. I'm not Catholic, but I am religious. So it's not like I have a problem with it being religious heavy or anything, because actually that rather appealed to me. Who wouldn't want to see about 50 nuns animated in Simpsons style on screen? It was very well animated. The use of colour as well and the use of light at certain points, that was very well done. In fact, it seems to have everything going for it. Music, animation, beautiful colour, light, sounds. It's just the narrative. The narrative just was so boring. And I, I feel like they knew that it was so boring that they brought in Skinner and Comic Book Guy. And I feel like they kind of shoehorned that in there. And then some other characters as well because they knew that the narrative itself was not enough to sustain itself. And I just wasn't very impressed. However, two bits that I did love, so these are, I guess, um, small spoilers. I won't give away anything about the Gem of St. Teresa or ultimately what it comes to. But I, well, actually one of these might be a spoiler for the answer to one of the clues. In fact, two answers. So yes, yeah, spoilers from now. I'm gonna give away two clues that I actually really liked. And the first clue, is Heart and Soul. And that is quite simply because I love that song. I always think of HBC, uh, Helena Bottom Carter, when I hear that song because she sings it so beautifully. And the other one is The Biggest Ring in Springfield. I thought that was pretty clever. I won't say exactly what it is, but I didn't see it. I didn't work it out. And I was pretty impressed with that. But the rest of it, honestly, I thought it was boring. Well animated. Visually, it was quite interesting, but the narrative itself just seemed forced. It didn't seem like it flowed very well. It didn't work very well. I don't know if I would choose to watch this episode. Well, I would never choose to watch it, but if I'm binge watching season 20, I probably wouldn't skip it because visually it is pretty good. And um, the bit where Maggie is like covered in colours or haloed by colours, beautiful, very, very well animated. But yeah, I just feel like the narrative was all over the place and it just didn't work very well for me at all. 